Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about a lot of things in this video. I'm going to list it as an XRP video so you all get the notifications. It all ends up with XRP mooning anyway because all roads point to XRP. And it's not hard to know when XRP is really going to hit those high prices. All you have to do is take a look at world events, things that are happening. And this is also a public service video as well. Because I feel that people need to really start to wake up before it's too late. If you have money in the bank, you might want to get it out of there soon. So it's not just bricks. There are three revolutions happening in the world. De-dollarization, peace and development, revolt against the American empire. Now, the, it's crazy because I always looked at it as just de-dollarization, but it goes further than that. The peace movement. In an earth-shattering move, Saudi Arabia and Iran agreed to establish diplomatic ties brokered by China. Saudi Arabia and Iran are also poised to join BRICS and SCO. Next, Syria's president visited the UAE, an equally astounding reapproachment. The third one is about the former Taiwanese president who is currently on a 12-day trip across mainland China, an unprecedented event since the Chinese Civil War ended in 1949. All these are terrible for America's power, which rest upon chaos, wars, and divide and rule. You know, if you look around the U.S. right now, Division is the worst thing that's happening. On top of that, you have crime skyrocketing in every major city. Our government is working against us, and people still fail to realize that. But then you look at de-dollarization. Suddenly, everyone is finding ways to decouple from the U.S. dollar. Countries are boldly announcing plans to circumvent USD when they trade, especially when buying oil. Revolt against American hedge money. There is a global revolt against the American empire. Mexico is not a colony of the U.S., thundered Mexican President AMLO a couple of days ago on the 85th anniversary of Mexico's nationalization of oil. Similarly, El Salvador's young and dynamic President Buckle warned the U.S. that Monroe Doctrine is dead. Another Latin American country, Honduras, just dumped Taiwan and recognized PRC in mainland China. Heck, even some German leaders are talking about fixing the Nord Stream pipeline and renewing trade with Russia. And how about Putin, the supposedly international pariah? Under 10,000 plus U.S. EU sanctions a few days ago, 40 plus African countries sent representatives to Moscow to attend a conference titled Africa and Russia in a Multipolar World. Not subtle at all. Then a day later, Xi Jinping visited Moscow for a three-day visit and said, changes unseen in a century are happening. Add all this to the sudden interest shown by numerous countries in joining BRICS, and you still think the U.S. dollar is safe. I keep seeing people outside of crypto. I talk to them all the time about this and they're like oh the u.s dollar's never been stronger the banking system is getting stronger all the time it was just those two crypto banks that seem to break everything they don't understand what's really going on and i still believe that they're being fed distractions as well we'll talk more about that in this video so true the truth is the americans will end up by being hated by everyone, even their most unconditional allies. All the dirty tricks they've come up with are exposed by events. And then this happened. Top European officials are furious with Joe Biden's administration and now accuse the Americans of making a fortune from the war while EU countries suffer. They're starting to wake up and realize these politicians are enriching themselves on the backs of other countries. And on top of it, they're using the U.S. dollar as a weapon all the time. Countries are tired of it. France buys 65,000 tons of liquid natural gas from China in first ever one denominated tra trade. <laughs> Sorry every single country it's day after day in the headlines 
because these countries are fed up with the U.S. dollar. They're fed up with this administration that's in our White House. That's an absolute joke, in my opinion. Breaking, Saudi Arabia has joined a political security and trade alliance with China, Russia, India, and Pakistan. They are also considering using the Chinese yuan over the U.S. dollar. Is this the end of U.S. dominance? And there's a lot of people asking the same questions. China and Brazil signed a new agreement that would abandon the U.S. dollar and carry out trade and financial transactions directly in yuan for reals and vice versa. People need to wake up in this country. They need to get their money out of the banks. They need to start buying something like gold and silver and even crypto because I believe once all this falls apart, anyone holding crypto is going to be the new 1% as that new financial system rolls in then there's this so finally fox news talked about it china and russia have announced they are officially done using the u.s dollar saudi arabia is entertaining and accepting other currencies for oil as well the petroleum dollar and status as world reserve currency is coming to an end and if Fox News is talking about it, most people right away would say, well, I watch CNN. They're not saying that. Well, yes, they are. Opposing networks that are both so opposite extremes of one another, covering the same story with the same take is very rare. This is incredibly alarming and should scare you sick. And even our own Treasury Secretary has said that the U.S. dollar looks like it's losing dominance in the world. People need to wake up. What's going to come next is definitely going to be something horrific. We're going to have hyperinflation in this country. We're going to have bail-ins as well. How many banks need to fail before you realize that your money in your country's bank is not safe? The house of cards is falling down. Don't let them steal what's yours. Bail-ins coming, peeps. You've been warned. And it's not only the U.S., even the Bank of England has bail-ins. They have the laws put in place that it can happen. Because I don't think it's just going to happen in the U.S. I think it's going to happen worldwide. And I believe at the end of all of this, somehow, someway, the BRICs are going to rise in power. Because every single country is sick of the U.S. dollar. They're sick of the way the U.S. always gets rich off the back of other countries as well. Federal Reserve says its FedNow digital payment service is faster and better than traditional banking. Is this the end of the financial fiat system as we know it? This is something else, and this is what I believe they're pushing for right now. They want a CBDC in this country. You know, FedNow was first introduced as a payment system. They never talked about a CBDC. Now they're starting to call it for what it is. But they know American citizens will never vote for this. So they need that emergency situation. The fall of the U.S. dollar could be that emergency situation they need to pull out a full-blown CBDC. And I believe that's very well what is going to happen. And I believe this is one major distraction that's happening right now. Trump faces about 30 counts in New York grand jury indictment. And I'm surprised they indicted him, honestly. But it comes at such a crazy time. Because we see how the country, other countries are coming to wipe out the U.S. dollar. On top of that, we see how the current country, the, you look around, and this country is in chaos. We have crime out of control in major cities. We have a massive homeless problem. We have inflation skyrocketing. And we have countries coming for the U.S. dollar all at the same time. But then, on top of all of that, we have this as well. Biden regime may soon be coming door to door for your guns. Joe Biden came into office promising to bring everyone together, cure COVID, and fix the economy. Two years in, we have the worst inflation ever and a society that is in steep decline. Now, they right away blame it on that shooting that happened in Nashville, why they need to get everybody's guns. I believe they don't want us holding guns because they don't want us revolting when the system falls apart. On top of that, think about it like this. No gun woke up in the morning and said, hey, I think I'm going to go shoot someone today. No, a person woke up and decided that and used a gun to do it. 
guns are fine in the right hands. And I still feel that you will want to have a gun when the system falls apart because all the criminals have guns, yet they want to take guns away from law-abiding citizens. And this is all happening at the same time this is happening. I think it's safe to say banks are switching over. And you see all the major announcements around the banks pushing towards ISO 222. Now, Ripple is also tied to a lot of these banks. I can't wait to see what happens with the price of XRP. Hopefully, ISO will give us our first look at where XRP is going in the future. I made another video where I talk about how I feel that XRP is going to definitely have a high value in the future. I still feel it's going to have a monetary value put on it by the central banks. It can't move all that money and be sitting at a low price. It doesn't make sense. Yet people still try to downplay it somehow, some way. But it doesn't make sense in any way, except XRP being high valued. But this video today that I did, I wanted to point out what's coming. Because there's so many people out there that still don't realize it. They're still asleep to it. You know, as the U.S. dollar falls in value, people don't know how bad that's going to be. You know, think back to 2008. I think we're going to be looking at a situation that is far, far worse. And I keep seeing people say it all the time. You know, if it gets too bad, I'm leaving the U.S. I hear people that aren't even in crypto say that now. Because they can sense it coming, but they don't know how big it actually is. That's why every time on the weekends, I like to do videos that are a little bit different than what I do during the week. Tomorrow, I'll probably do a video on the Great Reset because there's a lot happening around that as well. And I want to wake up as many people as possible to that also because I believe everything I talked about today ties into the Great Reset and it also ties in to the fact that XRP holders are going to get rich at some point. But I believe we got to be very safe with our investments at a time like this. And we got to be very smart when our investments take off. Anybody who cashes out into the U.S. dollar is going to end up being a fool in the end. Because the U.S. dollar is going to hold no value. Maybe cash out into actual physical gold or something like that. Let's face it. Every country in the world will accept gold no matter where you go. And I still feel that gold is very undervalued right now as well. I believe it's going to rise in value with the new financial system. But with that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.